Tipu Sultan, often referred to as the Tiger of Mysore, was born on November 20, 1750, in the Kingdom of Mysore, to military officer Haider Ali and his wife, Fatima Farka Anisa. His given name was Fath Ali, but he became known as Tipu Sultan, a name inspired by a local Muslim saint, Tipu Mars Tan Aulia. From a young age, Tipu received a comprehensive education that included not only military training but also studies in various subjects like languages, Islamic jurisprudence, and strategy, thanks to the influence of his father's alliance with the French in southern India. Tipu Sultan's military prowess became evident when, at the age of 15, he led a successful invasion of Malabar, capturing the Malabar chief's family and compelling the surrender of other local leaders. His father, Haider Ali, recognized his abilities and entrusted him with leadership responsibilities within Mysore. During the mid-18th century, the British East India Company was seeking to expand its influence in southern India. In 1767, the British formed a coalition with the Nizam and the Marathas to attack Mysore. However, Haider Ali's diplomatic skills and Tipu Sultan's charm led to the Nizam switching sides, resulting in a temporary halt to the British advance. The conflict eventually led to the Treaty of Madras in 1769, which restored pre-war boundaries but strained relations between Mysore and the British. In 1771, the Marathas attacked Mysore, and Haider Ali requested aid from the British as per the Treaty of Madras. The British East India Company, however, refused to send troops, leading to Tipu Sultan's active involvement in repelling the Marathas. This event further fueled his mistrust of the British. The Second anglo mysore War, 1780-1784, erupted when Haider Ali attacked the Carnatic, an ally of the British. The British responded by sending forces under Sir Hector Munro, and Tipu Sultan intercepted British Colonel William Bailey's troops, achieving a significant victory in September 1780. Despite their success, the Mysoreans did not seize Madras, and the war turned into a series of sieges. In 1782, Haider Ali passed away, and Tipu Sultan ascended to the throne as the Sultan of Mysore. The British hoped for a smooth transition that would work in their favor, but Tipu's capable leadership and acceptance by the army thwarted their plans. The war ended in 1784 with the Treaty of Mangalore, which restored the status quo. Despite facing the British twice, Tipu Sultan recognized the continued threat posed by the British East India Company. He focused on strengthening his military capabilities, including the development of the famous Mysore rockets, a new coinage system, and infrastructure improvements. He also encouraged trade and promoted religious tolerance among his subjects. The Third anglo mysore War, 1789-1792, marked a significant conflict, with the British led by Lord Cornwallis. Despite Tipu Sultan's resilience, the British had more resources this time, and the war resulted in significant territorial losses for Mysore. The 1793 Treaty of Serengapatam saw the British and their allies claim half of Mysore's territory and demand hostages, including two of Tipu's sons. In 1798, the French general Napoleon Bonaparte sought an alliance with Tipu Sultan to challenge British dominance in India. However, Napoleon's invasion of Egypt and subsequent defeat hindered their plans. Meanwhile, the British, under the leadership of Richard Wellesley, Earl of Mornington, prepared to launch a massive invasion of Mysore. In February 1799, a British-led coalition began the siege of Serengapatam. Tipu Sultan valiantly defended his capital but was killed on May 4, 1799, as the British breached the city walls. With his death, Mysore fell under British control, and his sons were sent into exile. Tipu Sultan's legacy lives on as a symbol of resistance against British colonialism in India. He is remembered as a brilliant military strategist, an innovative ruler, and a defender of his kingdom's independence. Today, 
He is celebrated in India and Pakistan as a hero who fought tirelessly for his people's freedom and rights. Despite his ultimate defeat, Tipu Sultan's determination and courage continue to inspire generations.